sorry for all the junk in the background, but as a small business woman, we understand that um, our offices are a workspace and some of everything else. So the next topic I wanted to talk about was, is Etsy and why selling on Etsy scares the bejeebus out of me. Um, I did some statistics and I started selling on Etsy in 2012. I have over 3,447 feedback as of today. Um, that's feedback, not necessarily sales. So you can tell that I um, used to sell a lot on Etsy. And um, again, this is just me refocusing, regrouping, trying to point my efforts in the right direction. That's, that's all. I don't have, um, um, I don't. I don't have any major gripes with anybody uh, or any of the platforms. It's just, will they work for me and help me meet my goals? And what scared me about Etsy, and this is long before I started watching YouTube. So let me say, I, like I said, I've been watching YouTube videos religiously for about a year on different topics. Um, but I knew about Etsy. Um, and they're the changes that they were making many, many, many years ago. So Etsy used to be, you know, more geared toward home, uh, homemade, custom-made items. And that was the market that I was in. Um, I'm a crafter. My Etsy shop is called Groovy 61 Crafts. I still have it. And um, again... It used to be if somebody else made it, it was a little bit harder to get it on Etsy. Uh, but that's changed. Um, what scares me about Etsy is they just have too much control over your business. Now, don't get me wrong. I've never had my Etsy shop closed or blocked or stopped or any of that stuff. I should knock on wood. Um, what I've had issues with is listings being um, blocked or deactivated and not getting a good reason. So um, my, my understanding or my way of doing business is if you're doing something wrong or incorrect, and you should tell me. You should tell me what it is I'm doing wrong so that I can correct it. Etsy does not do that. And that bothers me to no end. So basically, they will block a listing. Um, and then you would get like this Etsy legal notice or something like that. Um, saying that you oh, there's a sub violated somebody's intellectual property. Um, and a lot of times, I didn't know what that was. I didn't mess with any Disney stuff. I didn't mess with any... Um, stuff that I believe to have intellectual property. Um, and if I use something like uh, a shoe charm, then I made something else with it. So uh, it may have, I may have purchased a shoe, shoe charm with a ghost and I put that shoe charm in like maybe some soap and I made some soap, something simple like that. And um, I'm assuming that that would be a violation for Etsy. I didn't make soap. I didn't put shoe charms in them. So don't tell me that's the reason because that's not what I did. I don't know what prompted it. So, and like I said, it wasn't ever any situation where my shop was closed or blocked. I just didn't like not knowing what I did wrong or why something was wrong. So, um, then one of the things I would do is, you know, I would go out and do research and see if I saw something similar to mine. And yes, it, it did exist. And I think one time I did get an Etsy to answer and they said they just haven't caught everybody. Duh. So annoyance. You could tell I, I'm just, I was a little annoyed with Etsy. Um, 
But then last year, I started, when I started watching the YouTube videos, I saw how people were depending 100% on Etsy to run their business, their livelihood. And Etsy had devastated their livelihood with a click of a button. Why would you give any platform that much power over your livelihood and your business? Um, I didn't, I didn't understand that. So where it seems like I have a lot of eggs and a lot of different baskets and sometimes I get tired of trying to keep everybody up to date and everybody in sync and on the same page. But at the end of the day, I, I would not like anyone to be able to shut me down in a minute, um, which um, apparently happened. And I'm sorry to those those people who that has happened to, but I guess I could see that was coming many, many, many years ago. Uh, I think Etsy's trying to find their way where they want to be. Do they want to be in homemade? Do they want to be manufacturers? Do what do they want? Or do they just want your money? And then I don't know. I don't know. So I shouldn't speculate. But, you know, it, it's, it scares me. It still scares me today. Um, after 12 years, I am very selective with what I put on Etsy um, for that very reason. Because I don't know if I may pick something that will piss them off. Of course, I read the rules. It doesn't seem like there's any clear. I don't mess with anybody's intellectual property. Um, I don't. Um, the other thing about Etsy, the things that I did make, um, I did some jewelry, some different type of jewelry. And my biggest challenge was that, you know, people just copied it. Um, I've seen those videos of people making t-shirts. Uh, these guys who are given instructions on how to make a t-shirt and they tell you to go to Etsy and you find the number one selling t-shirt on Etsy. And you don't copy it, but you make yours be just like theirs. Or very close to theirs. How is that not copying? Um, again, I've seen video after video after video of people saying, don't copy it, but make yours look very much like theirs. Copying. If you don't have an original idea, why take somebody else's original idea and try to, I don't know, how, how do I say it? I don't know, but that doesn't seem right to me. So uh, a lot of my designs and things that I have, I have them on my website, um, groovy61crafts.com and mugmusewear.com. The things that I've created that just, um, I'm, I'm afraid to put them on Etsy. Um, and I do, and I'm, I know most of my traffic, most of my sales and my traffic came from my Etsy shop. I didn't, I don't know the whole game on SEO, but I try to describe things as best I can. Um, so, um, long story short, I hope, I just afraid to put my things on Etsy for fear of them just shutting my shop down that I've had for 12 years um, and counting. So um, that's my take on Etsy. Um, again, it, 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 it works for some people and it works for me, but I have really, really, really cut back in the last, I would probably say since 2017. So in the last seven years, I've really, really, really cut back. But I'm regrouping, I'm retired. I have my freedom. I have my time to think and reflect. And maybe that will become a part of my strategy again. And maybe I'll use it more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Stay positive. I don't want to hear any negativity, if I could be blunt. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.